I feel fire on this platform. Did you hear what I said? I said, I feel fire on this platform. The anointing, the blessed Holy Ghost, they are Pentecost. Anointing is here. Now step out, out of your sickness, out of your diseases, out of your misery, into the river of healing, in the name of the Lord. Sing it again. Brock, what is going on, Brock? I said this lady is shouting because God has healed her tonight. She had a terrible accident in 95. She has been eating, literally eating painkillers for eight long, solid, horrible years. She said, I've had no life, but praise God. He who is life has given her life back because all the pain is gone out of her body. People, I tell you, what I'm sensing on my body right here. Everyone lift your hands, pray in the spirit quickly. Pick them up. You deserve the glory and the honor. Tell me again, please, Brock. It's a mighty anointing on you, Mr. Brock. She has, uh, she has not had a life for eight years. She's had to live on pain pills for eight years. In 95, she had a horrible automobile accident that began to work on her back. Literally every vertebrae in her back has been afflicted. Steve, what are you feeling on your body right now? Feeling the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Pastor. Tremendous strength here. You are great Like you She had to walk with this Come on, let's see Let her run, Pastor, let her run Let her run, look at her run She could do that There's no way she could do that Since I was 10 years old. Never again. Never again. You deserve the glory. Henry. Pastor, this lady here had a tumor tonight in her stomach. The tumor disappeared completely. Just now, just disappeared tonight. She's so excited. This lady here. It was my night. This is my night. I thank you, Jesus. Where was the tumor? Around my back. On the pancreas. The doctor told us it was a large mass on the pancreas. She hasn't been eating. She's been throwing up everything she's been eating. And I've been taking care of her, but I know that God is done it tonight. How do you know it's gone? How do you know that the, the, the mess is gone? She is in no pain. No pain. <laughs> you deserve the glory. Henry, take your seats. Take your seats. She's had emphysema since 1972. She's in a wheelchair tonight. All healed, completely healed, she said. This lady? Yes. Emphysema. For how long? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. And now you can breathe. I can breathe very light. <sighs> no emphysema. Thanks. Is this your mama? It's 
my mother. She, she's been having this trouble for, for 10 years. Yes. It's a marvelous anointing here, lady. That's a great anointing here. There's a tremendous and a deep anointing on this platform. Yeah. And so this dear lady has been suffering greatly with cancer, colon cancer that metastasized to her spine. She came in a wheelchair tonight, and she says she's been tingling all during the service. She can bend over. All of the pain is completely gone out of her body. She says God has healed her of cancer tonight. You came on a wheelchair. You had cancer. Cancer since June, and um, it metastasized to my spine. It's pretty painful. I could walk, but it's pretty painful. Ever since I came here, it's been like a, extremely asleep. You know, that tingling, like it's asleep. I knew he was working on me. I knew he was working on me. Jesus, your presence makes me whole. Jesus. of the Holy Ghost here. Now do something you couldn't do with your body, lady. No pain. No pain. No pain. Feels great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. You know, not, not, no service is the, is the same. No service is the same. Pastor, this lady here was outside in the car. The pain was so bad. She couldn't get in tonight. She couldn't get in. What was wrong with her? She has, she has fibromyalgia. She had to be in the car with pillows. The pain was so bad. She came out she of the... She sat in her car. In the this car. is the husband here? No, her friend. Friend. You, a friend of your husband's. You sat in your car with pillows surrounding you because you were unable to sit without pain. And the Lord healed you outside or inside? Outside. The Lord healed you outside in your car. Well, people, give the Lord a mighty hand for this. Thanks. Mr. Brock. Pastor, this lady has been suffering, 32 years old, suffering with rheumatoid arthritis. Dear God. It does 32 it. years of age with arthritis? Pastor, I had three of my, my relatives die with rheumatoid arthritis. It's a debilitating disease. And one of my uncles was less than 50 when he passed what away. What happened to this lady? She said the power of God came upon her. She couldn't close her hands. She you had could difficulty. not close your hands. I couldn't make a hard fist and I could squeeze. Dear Lord, you got a strong... <laughs> Boy, that's tough. That's, that's the power of yeah. God. Ankles, I couldn't get up and down the steps without pain. And but let me see you now. Come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me see you. Up and down. Come on. Look at that. Give her a big God bless you. Come on, people. Give her a big God bless you. Thank God. And she'll never have arthritis again as long as she lives. Who are you, ladies? Her friends? Thanks. I pick her up. That's a great anointing on a touch. Ooh.